the dilemma is that men have been told not to be controlling and, you know, really cater to the women. And that's really where it kind of falls apart, right? Right, right. Did you push record? Thanks so much for tuning in again to Second Act TV. I'm happy to welcome Elliot Katz back to Second Act TV. Elliot, thanks so much for staying over. Good to be here. Elliot, of course, is the author of Being the Strong Man a Woman Wants. And we just finished uh, a segment talking about, you know, what that means and uh, what does it mean to be a strong man, you know, in, in today's world. As we said, the last 50 years have been very confusing <laughs> to those of us in relationships and the whole gender roles and what women want and what men want. Elliot, on today's segment, I want to talk about how women contribute to I don't want to say emasculating, maybe it is emasculating men, but but to that dynamic of where men just don't feel like, you know, they want to take take a leadership role. Ex- explain that to us. You know, it's an interesting question because often I, I've had men say to me, I can't be a leader unless my wife lets me. And I say to them, no, you, you just got to be a leader. It's, it's And if you're, if you're a good leader, she will follow you. She'll go along with you. And so I tell women who are <clears throat> excuse me, are frustrated with men who won't show any leadership said so don't when they back away from showing leadership don't let them you know if there's a decision that needs to be made just say i like what, when you make the decision what what i find you know interesting is is that you know i i suppose men are the the, the dilemma is that men have been told not to be controlling and you know really cater to the women and that's really where it kind of falls apart right 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 so i think you know i've been at weddings where the father the groom will say oh the the key to success yes dear just (laughs) just just go along with your wife and and so a woman has to really show him that i want you to you know take the lead i want you to solve this problem i want you to make a decision you know the, the story i often tell is a woman calls her husband at work and she says, what would you like for supper, chicken or fish? And he says, oh, why is she bothering me? You know, whatever you make will be good. You're a great cook. And and he doesn't realize she wants him to make the decision. So just say, I want you to make that decision. Tell me what you prefer. I want to do it your way. And and, I mean, you're not going to do that for every single thing, but let him get used to the idea that, you know, he he can make a decision and, and she'll welcome it. When he handles it, just praise him. <laughs> Men like to be praised. Women like to be praised too. Everybody likes to be praised, but praise him. Just encourage him, and you'll see there will be a difference. Yeah, it, it's funny. Uh, you know, of course, we always think of ourselves when, when, you know, how this relates to our life and what you just said. Uh, it's like my boyfriend. That that's starting to be a habit. When we do dinner, or I, I'll cook dinner, and he's a good cook too. He cooks, but, but primarily. Uh, Let's use the dinner example as my point. I said, well, Paul, do you want, you know, do you want this or that? Do you want me to cook it this way or do you want, you know, this salsa or hot? And he just gets like really frustrated with me for asking all these questions. So, <laughs> you know, so I guess my question to you would be, is that an example of not wanting to make a decision or, or am I just asking too many questions? You know, what, what's the fine line here? It, it's a, an example of not wanting to make a decision. So you just got to say to him, you know, I like it when you decide because I want to do it your way. And, and he'll decide, really. It's because I tell men, you say, well, the decision doesn't really matter to him. He said, well, whatever way you do it is fine because the decision doesn't matter to him. And I tell the men, it may not matter to you, but she, she's asked you for the decision because she wants you to make the decision. So just make it. If it's, if it's either or, just choose one. It's easy. <laughs> but it will make your wife happy. And that's what you want. It's it's funny. It's a really really good point because it does. And I've and, and I, I you know I I don't want to use Paul as a bad example because he's he is wonderful. It's just kind of funny how this plays into what we're talking about. Uh, and it does w- when you get that response. Oh, I don't care. You know, or or I'll ask him. You know, like go to a party, whatever. You know, do you want me to wear this or that? What do you think? You know, I I want to I want you to be proud of me. And it's just oh, whatever you're most comfortable in. <laughs> Right, and it right, does. Right. It makes me feel like, 
you don't care what I look like. <laughs> right, right. So that's it. You said, but I want, I want you to decide. I like it when you decide. Yeah, it's it's, it's such a common situation because men don't realize it, you're the man. She really wants you to make the decision. She wants you to show you can make a decision. That's part of it. Because so many times men won't make decisions, and I think, you know, how is he going to make a decision in a serious situation? Make decisions. It's it's uh, it's part it's part of even if you look up the definition of the word manly in the dictionary part of it's being decisive make decisions interesting that's 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 a great point yeah well and then on we started talking about the whole the whole dating thing having a plan when you you know when you go out uh i think as a woman i I guess I've been really lucky that to where I, I have had decisive men. So I was a little bit surprised that that is such a huge point that oh. you made. <laughs> it's a very common situation. Very common. It, it, it's 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 almost like I, I couldn't count the number of women who will tell me that a man asks them out and can't even choose a place for a cup of coffee. You know, he wants her to make the decisions, and then you know he can't even choose a table to sit at, and he thinks I'm being I'm showing I'm a non-controlling nice guy. And she, she, he doesn't realize it's showing he can't make a decision. She has to show make make a decision, be a man with a plan. So uh, and and really, a, a woman should just say, you know, I like it when you make the plans. It, you know, I like it when you decide. You know, if, and if he doesn't have a plan, just say, well, why don't you call me back when you have a plan? <laughs> really, really, I, I, women have told me that. Just just say, well, okay, I, we'll go outside tonight, but. Come up with a plan and call me back. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say some other things about dating. We we talked about as uh, you know, men of this generation. I think the younger guys are okay with this, but they men men I know don't want to be pursued by women. Like the thing is, show interest, encourage them, you know, talk to them, smile at them. But but the men over fifty that I know. They don't want to be pursued. They really want to pursue the woman. They want to feel that she's really too good for me, but somehow I pursued her and I got her. Uh, I, you know, a while ago I, I met this woman. I was really like so impressed with her and really I felt, I wonder if she'd go out with me. I was just so bowled over by her. And, you know, we exchanged numbers. And I called her a couple of days later. We went out and we went out for a while. And at one point she said to me, if I hadn't called her, she was going to call me. So I said to her, well, I'm really glad you didn't because that would have burst the bubble. It's like I would have thought, here yeah, this woman is like, whoa, and now why is she calling me? <laughs> so the very important, don't pursue, show an interest and courage, but let the man pursue you because he really wants to feel like he's he's won you. He's really, uh, even Winston Churchill read a quote, he said the most greatest, one of the greatest achievements in his life was convincing his wife to marry him. So it's like it, the man wants to feel that. And another thing about dating is if you have an ex, don't badmouth him because, you know, a lot of men, uh, don't, don't, you know, they, they don't want to hear it because they, they have an ex too who's badmouthing them. So the thing is show what you've learned and how you've grown and, and you're ready for a new, better relationship. You know, sometimes you know, a woman, maybe she was too controlling. She was, she said, I've learned. I, I realized I was too controlling. I I back off now. I, I I realize that was a big mistake, or what, or whatever it could be. This is one example. Another thing is when you know in this stage of life, many men have children from their marriage, and the thing is, be supportive of his parenting. Don't feel that the children are a threat, taking away attention from you. And and if you feel that, and I've I've you know met women who say that, if you feel that maybe this relationship isn't for you, it's uh. You know, he would, if you show, on the other hand, if you show you're supportive, you have ideas, you can help him with his kids, you know, that that's a, very much a pretty, that's like, wow, that's a real bonus. That will really uh, make him feel good. But, you know, if you feel that his attention is a threat to you, just, it's, maybe it's not meant to be. That I was, that surprised me too, that that was one of your top, you know, your key points is, is the, the children part to be supportive. I, I wouldn't have, I, that, that is so prevalent. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, before we close out, cause we're starting to get to the end of the segment, I wanted to clarify one thing when you said that men don't like to be pursued and, and I agree, I, I, I don't think you should. Uh, we do on a lot of these dating videos recommend though, to not just sit there and wait for somebody to call you or make a first move, especially when you're trying to get to know them. 
so how do you how do you draw the line there? Is it okay to wink at a guy or you know how? Oh, absolutely! Yeah, smile, wink, show interest. I mean, even you know, if you want to invite them out, like you know, people are dating online. If you want to invite them out for coffee, but really after that, like let him pursue you. Let him pursue. He he has to feel that, you know, he says, "Wow, I want her," and <laughs> and, and and pursue you and. And and uh, it makes him feel good. It's the, it's the male ego. It's a male thing. Uh, you know, he he wants someone who he has to pursue and uh, you know, and win. And it makes him feel really good. Yeah. So <laughs> give him enough comfort or enough uh, encouragement to to do the pursuing. Right. But don't do that. That's that's really great advice. That's uh, I I could have uh, used that when I first right after I got divorced. <laughs> Come from a, where I turned into this controlling woman in a marriage for whatever reasons. To them, brought that to the dating scene, and you bring up. I mean, it is. It's a. It's a great read. Uh, lots of lots of stuff to think about. I know that you have uh, an implementation plan that, uh, if people email you, we'll make sure we have your email listed right, right. below. That that uh, uh, you know they they can get that. Uh, before we close, Elliot, is there anything else? Any more advice that for women to think about? So the main thing is. Really, you know, get the book for your husband. <laughs> it, it's a lot cheaper than getting divorced, and really, it can make a difference. You know, we all know divorce is not pleasant, yeah. and uh, and and you know, like there's so many men have said to me, if my husband knew these things, so many men have said if they had known this, they wouldn't be divorced. And women, divorced women, have said the same thing. If my husband had understood this, we would not be divorced today. And I've heard a lot of women say that. So you know, the comments I've received, how the book has saved their marriage. It's just, it's just wonderful. Yeah. And, and that's all over the world, 24 languages around the world. So, Well, your message is obviously resi- uh, resonating across the world. Uh, it's, you know, taking an old-fashioned look to a new, you know, bringing an old-fashioned approach, if I should say, to uh, a new problem, you know, with that, that's been created mainly in the last 50 years. So, Elliot, thank you so much for sitting down and talking with us. And I'd love to okay. have you back uh, sometime okay, in the thanks. future uh, okay, on Second Act you. TV. We'll see you again. Thanks for watching. If you have an idea for a segment that you'd like to see us cover, please visit our website, secondapp.tv. We have a little red suggestion box in the upper right hand corner of our site. Just click on that, send us an email. We'd love to hear from you. See you next time.